So did you come from a musical family? Yeah, my uh, uh, my mother played the uh, piano, and my grandmother played the piano and the violin, and, and she taught music. And so I get it from um, my mom's side of the family. My uncles played the fiddles. In those days, growing up in Pennsylvania, they just played uh, on the weekends. And uh, actually, I wasn't allowed to touch their instruments uh, because, you know, in those days, children were to be seen, not heard type thing. And, right. and so I would wait till they weren't around and I'd sneak their, their violin out and try to remember what they played. And then my brother bought a fiddle and uh, he learned to play first. Um, and, and that's who I was visiting in Wheeling, West Virginia. Lone Pine and Betty Cody was singing on WWVA in Wheeling, West Virginia in those uh, summers of when I'd go and visit my brother. And it was during that time when I first met Lenny, and because uh, he was the talk of the town, everybody, oh, you, you look, you watch this little guy play the guitar. You know, he was already something. And uh, and so anyway, I'd, I remember auditioning for his daddy when I was about 15 years old. I guess it was a couple years later. And uh, his daddy uh, asked me uh, what all I could play, and I played some he, uh, some fiddle tunes. And he says, well, can you do anything besides play those jigs and reels? And I didn't know what he meant. In other words, he was wondering if I could back him up, probably do an intro or a turnaround, and, and uh, I was too young and green to even know what he meant. And uh, So Lone Pine was, was the goods. He was a really well-known, yeah. popular yeah. guy. And he was, personality-wise, nice guy, easy to get along. Oh, with. yeah, yeah. The only time I ever seen him get aggravated when he'd be singing a song and Lenny would throw in a flat five or something and, and he'd get a dirty look from his dad. But then he'd look right back, you know what I mean? But in other words, Len, Lenny was, you know, having fun, experimenting, and he was doing that for us because we knew we, we were off to the side listening to that, you know what I mean? So when did you, when did you, did you meet Lenny that particular summer? I met him that summer when I was visiting my brother. It was down in that uh, same dressing room area, uh, uh, you know, there was, there was a bunch of us gathered around, and we were just listening, and... Uh, you know, I probably didn't have much conversation. You know, we were just kids, you know. Um, but either at that time or a little bit later, Lenny said, um, you need to get some Stuff Smith albums. Stuff Smith was the first great jazz violin. And then uh, one time when I was at Lenny's house, he got me a Stuff Smith album out and played it for me. And he said, you hear that? And I said, yeah. And and uh, I said, what is that? He says, that's a flat five. And uh, he said, you know, that was kind of one of Stuff's signature licks. He played a lot of flat fives. Yeah, Lenny was hip to everybody. He knew everybody uh, from good to bad. So Stuff, Stuff Smith made an impact on you? I mean. Oh, yeah, I thought. And so I bought all of Stuff Smith's albums, and that would be as a result of, of Lenny introducing them to me. And um, and I became a Stuff Smith clone. I mean, I, I to this day, you know, I, and I take it as a common people say, I sounded like Stuff. I know when I probably didn't see Lenny for a long time was through the 60s. I would just hear about him, uh, and I, uh, I started getting off the road, and I worked at a music store here in town, and I didn't travel much, so I didn't have an occasion to see Lenny for a long time. Probably, I don't, I don't know how long, but so he, but he would have, when he moved down here from Canada about '76, then he got in touch with you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. for about two or three years, uh, maybe maybe more like five years uh, here and there. You know what I mean? Like we uh, we got real close. He actually taught guitar for me and my wife at her she had a little dance studio that we also taught gave music lessons to me it was a kick I was enjoying this because I got the world's greatest guitar player teaching guitar for me so how did the, how did the album Friends come about? Uh, the way things come about you kind of have your day in those days in the 70s I was having my day I had my day from the late 60s through the 70s and a little bit in the early 80s and that was over for me uh, but anyway when you're in people call you and and so 
I was kind of a in musician, and so so this label, uh, these people doing this stuff wanted an artist, you know, and wanted me to put together some other good people and and do this album. So so that's how things like that come about. How did it come to be that Lenny was playing on that? Well, in those days, and we're talking about 77, 78, whenever yeah. that was, we were playing a lot together at this place called the Pickin' Parlor down on 2nd Avenue. And uh, Lenny was available. And I was just in heaven that he was available. And, you know, I'd have to go by and pick him up. And he was into it. And and uh, and, and Lenny's like a, a legend. And he's a... But it's like the session the, compared to Lenny, the sessions are way down here anyway. And and uh, but I just because I loved him and knew I would want something different and want the best would be why I would get him if I was in a position to do that. I remember uh, rehearsing ahead of time a little bit with Bucky and Lenny. But knowing that it was going to be direct to disc, and that there was other than maybe one once or twice in case it was a complete, real bad thing. That's why the long pause between the, the takes. Yeah. We're trying to get our next page, and yeah, you know, you, silently we're trying to get ready for that next tune. We only have a few seconds because you're only supposed to be what three or four seconds, but but it's probably like ten seconds most of the time between each take. <laughs> We, in other words, we rehearsed the whole album and then did the whole album. Right. You know, and so we had a couple seconds to think about, let's see, what's going to happen on this? Who starts this off? Or how do we get into it? Who got the count off? And that's that's why that long pause between each take. And I remember on that session, we were all doing real good, but Lenny was a little bit nervous. And there wasn't a sound. The only sound we heard was this paper rattling. It was a piece of paper laying on Lenny's uh, music stand. And uh, I don't know, he was a little bit nervous for some reason, but he, what a beautiful soul. He was always thinking about people, and he was always talking about spiritual things in another way. Like, like he'd talk about the Indians. He said, you know, they were very spiritual. They believed in the Holy Spirit. And uh, he said, you know, they... They'd cry a lot. They would sing a lot, and and uh, and and Lenny would do that sometimes when he would be playing his music. He would he liked to sing, it. and it was like an outpouring of his spirit. It was like he was, you know what I'm saying? So what was uh, what was it like performing with Lenny? I mean, was he generally on when you were when you were doing shows with him? Oh yeah, he he uh, again he always was very serious, very concentrated, always very creative. In other words. The average mechanical type musician has some cliches and some licks to get him through. Lenny was always looking for something new. Anytime you use Lenny on a session, he would come up with something that was great. Did you hear that? I've never heard anybody do that before. He would come up with something. Len Lenny was a notch ahead. Yeah. See, he would, like I say, he'd always be concentrated because he was always thinking he was trying to come up with that extra above average lick his All reason time. for something but it would always fit see very few that's the same way with Buddy Evans same way with Curly Chalker when he was playing same way with all your greats you know they, they they'll have a moment they'll have a moment 